Hello and welcome to our channel Investment Ventures where we bring you ideas related to long term investments and educational content related to the Indian stock market. Any stock we talk about is for educational purpose only and no buy or sell decisions should be made without the consent of your financial advisor. If you have been liking our videos do join us on Telegram for instant updates or like or follow our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So what we have for you today is a long term wealth creator which has proven itself over decades and that's Asian Paints. So we will look at why should we invest in this stock even going forward, what has been its history, what, what are its current shareholding patterns as well as the new business models, financials, valuations, charts, competitors. We also have an, another company which is in the same paint sector but is also a, a hidden gem and you could consider even that if you are looking for a small cap. So looking at Asian Paints, it is the number one paints company in India. It's three times the size, it's actually more than three times the size of its nearest competitor. It's the third largest paint company in Asia, as well as the ninth largest coatings company in the world. And currently it's the number one paints company in India with a market capitalization greater than 200,000 crores. First of all, if I look at its share holding pattern, you can see that the promoters hold close to 53%, uh, the mutual funds hold close to 3% and the foreign institutions are holding 21%. That, that leaves the retail investors with close to about 20 to 25% shareholding in the company. If I look at the market cap, it is 229,000 crores. It's debt to equity is 0 0.10 which is very good so it's on the very low side its dividend yield is not great because it's it's been a growth stock and it has been it has been an expensive stock also to own but any good stock is usually always expensive and its price to earnings ratio is 83 which is the only negative i would say for this company which is 83 is really high for for any company but no good company comes cheap whether it's a Nestle, whether it's a Hindustan Lever, whether it's a Pedalite, all the good companies will always have a high price earning ratio. So let's see why, why I have this recommendation for Asian paints. If I look at the business model, it has got paints as one, one of its major divisions and even within the paints, they have decorative paints, they have industrial paints, they have automotive paints. In automotive paints, they have a tie-up with PPG, which is the largest in USA. In decoratives, Asian Paints is the, the largest company in India. And it has an 83% share of the revenue of Asian Paints. They have started a kitchens division plus a baths division. So they have started venturing into furniture. They have started venturing into faucets. They have started venturing into... Uh, waterproofing. Waterproofing in fact has been on since quite some time and it's been a growing division. They have also ventured into sanitizers, that's the health and hygiene division now. So sanitizers and disinfectants, masks and PPEs. They have also started wall coverings, wall stickers, which is just an addition to their existing line of products. Besides that, they also provide services, which is like you find a contractor, you find an interior designer or take the services from them by buying the paint as well as they will come and paint your house for you. So that's an additional line of business that they have started since a few years now. Their most recent ones are the sanitizers that I spoke about and the kitchens and bath division. If I look at the numbers, let me go here. Okay, these, these are the correct numbers. So look at this section. This is December 2020, 6,886 crores. 
and the net profit is 1238 crores whereas the net profit sometime about 2 years ago with in december would have been 635 crores over sales of 500 and 5339 crores right so you see even with a sales jump of close to 25% the profitability has doubled because their margins are are very strong at this point of time they have done some cost opt optimization after covid and that has brought up their margins from from 19.7% uh, to 26.34% that's the operating pro profit margin okay now if i look at the the charts it has fallen recently and then let me put it up on the weekly chart so you can see that it has fallen considerably from a high of 2879 it's currently around 2350 to 2400 levels and this fall was after the results but it also fell because grassim has has expressed an intent to get into the paint industry because the margins are high and there's not much competition in that industry the players have built a strong moat there so grassim has intended to become the number two paints player in india although paints is not an industry where companies have been su very successful besides the ones that are existing like asian paints and axo noble and kansai Nerolac and bojo bojo paints these are the four paint majors that have that have, are ruling the paint industry in india and just to give you a little more history about asian paints ICI Paints, which is actually now Axo Noble, ICI Paints in its in the earlier days in 1990s had made an attempt to acquire Asian Paints. It wasn't successful, and then come five six years down the line, Asian Paints has made an attempt to acquire Axo Noble or ICI Paints at that point of time. In so that's ICI Paints was eventually acquired by Axo Noble, but that's the history. So, and Asian Paints has been growing way too fast compared to the to the competition. Okay. Now, lastly, I said I will be also talking about a competing stock, which is which is none other than Axo Noble, which I just spoke about, which was the one that. Uh, acquired ICI Paints. Now, Axo Noble is the largest paint company in the world. Of course, there is PPG and all, but in the decorative space, it's Axo Noble. Their current market price is close to 2150 or 2200 around that around that price. Their market cap is close to 10,000 crores. So if you're looking for a small to mid cap company, you can consider Axo Noble it has got a price to earning in the ratio in the range of 45 to 46 price to earning ratio the promoter holding is close to 74.8 now they are retaining this below 75 because the minute they exceed the 75 percent mark they have to make an open offer to the public so this is one play at let's say in some point of time they do decide to raise their shareholding and delist the company for whatever reason you can get a big big return on your investment now whether that will happen or no is not is not certain but if that does happen you will get a big bump a big bump in the share price as well as your your return will spike but nevertheless whether that happens or no axo noble is a strong player it's been growing now and uh, they have started their dividends their dividend per year is also good they are a very cash rich company and and low to no debt in the company also so asian paints number 1 and number 2 we would go with axo noble all right uh, that's all i had for today i had these two stocks for today keep watching our videos and join us on telegram if you want live updates like or follow us on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you